guys, welcome back to the Shipmate YouTube channel. Today we're talking all about freight, more specifically, the difference between a broker and a carrier. Most people have heard the term broker and carrier, and a lot of people think they refer to the same thing, but that is not true. A freight broker is an intermediary. That is somebody that works as a middleman between you and a freight carrier, and a freight carrier is the actual freight company that will do the transportation of goods. So when you're booking freight, you can either book directly through the carrier, the freight carrier, or you can utilize a broker. So you might be thinking, well, why would I ever pay a middleman when I can just book the freight myself? Well, this is because brokers a lot of times do a lot of volume. And because of this, they might have access to rates that you don't have access to. And they might be able to shop carriers that you might not be shopping yourself. So I want to go over some of the pros and cons today of using a broker versus using a carrier. So without further ado, let's get started. So the main advantage, as I said, to using a broker is that you know that you are getting a good rate every single time. And that is because these brokers are shopping across multiple carriers and they're giving you the best rate plus a little markup for them. So it's a good way to ensure consistent, affordable pricing in your transportation needs. Another good benefit of using a broker is the array of transportation that's available, right? So a broker might be shopping between a hundred different carriers sometimes. And this means that, you know, if one carrier doesn't have availability or one carrier is super expensive, there's tons of other options, right? And, and there, there's endless options for you and your broker to explore. Another valuable part of using a broker is that these people are experts, right? So sometimes they can help you with freight classes. Sometimes they can help you with uh, some of your accessorials and things like that. And th they can help you navigate this whole freight ecosystem, right? Uh, another nice thing about brokers is you can develop a really good relationship with your broker. And if you're not really one for the whole mushy gushy interpersonal relationship thing, you can also use software. So now there's multiple websites where you can go online and be your own broker and shop between a bunch of different carriers through a web portal, right? And this functions the same way as a, as a broker, but you're the one actually carrying out the uh, shipping. The downside to this is you don't get that expertise, so you might misclass your freight or you might miss an accessorial, which could be devastating in the end. But overall, you know, these are the real values of using a freight broker is this expertise along with the ability to get these, you know, rock bottom rates. And that's really why people use freight brokers. The drawbacks of using a freight broker is one, they do charge a fee. Usually it's somewhere in the range of 10 to 20 percent. Um, and they'll charge this on top of the, uh, the freight cost. So you might have been able to get a better deal had you gone out yourself and shop between multiple freight carriers. Um, on top of this, another main drawback is that you might not have a lot of say in what carrier you are using, right? So a carrier might show up that you never used before, or you might be using a cut rate carrier or something in the name of cost savings because the broker is really concerned with getting you the best rate that meets your needs rather than you know giving you that high-end top tier service you can expect from some of the more superior uh, freight carriers so that large array of choice can you know lead to some sort of quality issues uh, a lot of times with some of the smaller uh, less effective carriers so you know this is something to keep in mind when you're using a freight broker is it can save you money but sometimes you give up a little bit of that uh, quality control as you're using a larger pool of freight carriers. Now, with that being said, why would you ever want to use a carrier, right? There is an advantage to using freight carriers, right? So the drawbacks are clear. You know, you might pay a little bit more because, you know, you're not able to shop across hundreds and you're going to have to do the work yourself that that freight broker would have had to do. 
So reaching out to carriers can cost more and take more time. But the advantages to reaching out to carriers is having that quality assurance, right? So you can choose which carriers you're going to reach out to and which ones you're going to avoid, right? So if there's a certain carrier that you really like working with, maybe you reach out to them every time. And there's a carrier you don't like so much, maybe you only reach out to them when you're desperate and nobody else will pick up your shipment, right? So by you reaching out to the carriers directly, you're able to kind of use your own criteria to decide who you want to work with and who you don't want to work with, right? It gives you a more limited pool, but you control what is in that pool when you are shopping rates. Um, another advantage to reaching out to carriers is repeat business, right? So if you're doing a lot of business with the same carrier, uh, it's like using a freight broker. You're going to build a relationship with that carrier. And when you build a relationship with that carrier, sometimes it leads to better rates. Sometimes they're willing to do things for you that they won't do for other customers. You know, sometimes they'll make availability when they don't really have it. Sometimes maybe they'll make that chassis for the port available. You know, just because you built rapport, you've built a relationship with these companies and you've done repeated business. So there's a lot of benefits to having one or two really close uh, partners that you work with, especially in the, uh, the carrier space. What do I recommend, right? At the end of the day, it really comes down to you and your business. If you have something that needs to be somewhere right away and you want the best level of service, I recommend reaching out to a carrier you trust. If you're looking for a great price and a great bargain, I recommend working with a broker because that large pool of carriers he's going to shop across is going to save you some money. Now, what do I do? I do a combination of both, right? And it really comes down to my needs and, uh, you know, everything going on. So a lot of times I will get a quote from both a broker as well as maybe one or two of my favorite carriers to use. And if that carrier is a couple bucks more than what the broker quote was, I'll usually give the business the carrier that I like to work with because I know they're going to show up on time and I know they're going to do a good job. So, you know, there's a lot of different ways to incorporate both carriers and uh, freight brokers into your logistics puzzle. And by doing so effectively, you can improve your supply chain, improve your transit times, and increase your profitability. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you could do us a favor, give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a share. We're almost at 5,000. We're just so close. And you could be the one to put us over there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next week.